Hey guys, time for October favorites. I have a few brand new favorites to share with you that you have not seen from me before. So I think I'm gonna kick off favorites with actually the nail flush that I'm wearing, which is a new one. Um, well, I've been wearing it for the past week and you guys were asking in a couple of videos what was on my nails. So I'm gonna start with that first. But before I jump into favorites, I do wanna mention, um, cause I've still been asked a lot, when am I gonna be going home and getting back into my regular beauty videos, DIY videos, uh, hair videos, all of that stuff, coming very soon. Our trip is coming to an end here in a couple of weeks. We're gonna be back on Maui November 15th and then I'm scheduled to be back at work um, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. But actually, really, I go back to work the day after I arrive in Maui because we work pretty much every day. Um, but yeah, back at our regular shows, like set up outside, it's Thanksgiving weekend. Okay, so now on to favorites. I have been wearing this for the past week, and you guys were asking in the previous videos, what's on your nails? So this is it, Australis, and the color is Bombshell. It is one of the most perfect Barbie pinks that I have come across. It is so yummy and luscious. I just I love it. And it's not like... It's not like bright, like hot neon pink, you know, it's not like 80s type pink. It's just that perfect Barbie pink. It's, there's a fine line there. I'm always looking for that perfect balance in between because I don't, I don't really dig the 80s kind of colors. Um, so I found that this was like one of the most perfect Barbie pinks that I've found. And not only is the color super luscious and yummy, but the formula rocks also. Uh, it says, let's see, on the bottle it says intense color with high shine and it's streak free. Usually when I see streak free on a nail polish, I think yeah, right, you know, to that claim. But it actually is like freaking awesome because I was able to apply just one coat. So this is one coat I've been wearing for almost a week now and I have minimal tip wear. Actually, just last night I noticed I finally started to get some tip wear. And I do have one chip. It only chipped um, on my thumbnail because I broke my thumbnail and kind of peeled off some of the nail polish with it, which really sucks when you get all your nails the same length and then one breaks. Ugh. All right, let's go ahead and stick with Australis products because I have two other ones I want to show you. One is this bronzing powder that I have fallen in love with. Now, they actually have this in two colors. Um, one color is golden, and the color I got is sunkissed. Sunkissed is the darker one. Golden is um, quite a bit lighter, and I wish they kind of had one that was in between because I probably would have gotten the one that was in between, but I, I have fallen in love with this because it is just an, it's a nice cool tone bronzer sort of reminds me of maybe nars laguna i wish that i had that here so i could swatch them together and see how close they were um I'm, i think that they're different otherwise i wouldn't have purchased this one but i just think that in in my collection i think this might be the closest to that like tone wise so it doesn't have any hint of like oranginess to it at all um so it's not a warm tone bronzer so it's very cool and I can go ahead and swatch it, although I don't know if it will come up. So you can see kind of like maybe the tone of color there. And yeah, you probably won't be able to see that. And it does have a bit of very fine shimmer to it. So it's not a matte. All right, for my other Australis product, I got this Fresh and Flawless powder, pressed powder. It's oil-free and fragrance-free. And... When I was first looking at these, I thought, you know what, I don't know if I'm going to find a color, because actually you guys had recommended that I check this out. And I didn't think that I was going to be able to find a color that was going to match me close enough, but um, this was the darkest color that I could find from them. They have very light colors, like really fair colors. So if you're fair, then this would probably work out really well for you. But um, this is called Darkest Brown, is the color I got, which I think is funny because I would not call that brown at all. Um, it's, it's like barely a tan. It's like a beige tan. Um, so it just works for me, but I really like, I do really like it, uh, which is why I ended up in my favorites because it does like, you know, it makes your face look like you don't really have any pores, which is kind of what we strive for, you know, or one of the many things we strive for. So you've got a nice little mirror there and underneath here you've got a little place for a sponge there. That I do use. This is actually a nice little sponge that it comes with. Um, not one of those foaming kinds, it's just a nice, um, good quality one. And so that I will use because it's handy for on the go and, you know, in case you're out to dinner or something and you just want to kind of like, you know, break that shine up a bit and just kind of mat out your t-zone or something this has been really handy for that and it did turn out to be a close enough match to my skin tone um, but i still wish that they would make them in darker colors which maybe they do and maybe priceline just didn't have them when i was there i don't know i got this at priceline um actually all the australis products i got at priceline which they do have really good prices Oh no, the sun just went away. That sucks, because I, I set up this morning first thing to film this while it was all, oh gosh, 
throw lipstick around. Um, I set up when it was bright and sunny this morning so you guys could um, see all the colors and everything of the products. Because it comes, the sun kind of like comes right in this window, but when it gets dark, it gets really dark in this room. So that's a bummer. Okay, well, I'll just proceed on and hopefully you guys can still see some of the colors. Hopefully it'll come back out. Okay, uh, favorite lipstick combo of the month has been these two. This is a MAC lipstick. I've showed you that before, so um, I'll just wait and show you that in a minute. I just top it, I top this one off with that. So this is Chi Chi and it's, let's see, it's by Chi Chi. I got it at a Target and it's from their Viva La Diva cream lipstick line. But how cute is that packaging? That really caught my attention. When I saw the, the whole, like, all the Chi Chi products, like, down the aisle, I was like, oh, this is cute, really cute stuff. So not only is the box really cute, but the actual lipstick tube is adorable too. So it's got that same, oh good, the sun's coming back out, yay. So it's got that pink and black kind of like a Victorian damask sort of print, and I just thought it was ador adorable. Not only is the packaging really cute, but the color is rockin'. Um, so it's funny though, the color is also called Bombshell, just like my nail polish here. So it's like, I don't know, I'm into like the Bombshell products this, this month. Um, although, you know, I think companies tend to name good products Bombshell. I don't think I've ever come across a bad Bombshell product. I noticed that they tend to use that name a lot. Um, and I'm always, I'm always drawn to it somehow. But look at that yummy, ah, that yummy nude. And it's a bit of a cooler nude. So it's like a cool medium nude, cool tone medium nude. Um, so it doesn't make you look like too warm. How some nude lipsticks, okay, some of them can look either too light and wash you out, make you look all, you know, corpse-like and, oh, we don't like that. Um, you always gotta like fuss with it and try to make it look more look more alive, I guess. Then you also have the lipsticks, the nude lipsticks that are too warm tone and they end up kind of looking, making more of an orangey kind of look on you, like a brown orange, and I don't like that either. So I tend to go for like these. That's why I always say like mobby nudes. So I guess this could be kind of a mobby nude, but I'd say it's just more of a, a natural medium nude with a cool tone to it. So I just think it's such a gorgeous color. Um, I saw they also have like super cute lip glosses. But I don't really wear lip gloss, so I, I didn't go there. Just with the one lipstick, that was that was all I needed. Um, and then, oh, for what I've been topping that off with has been my MAC lipstick in gel, which this is like my go-to, like all-purpose lipstick for like topping off just about any lipstick. It just has a gold um, gold shimmer to it, so I really like that bit of gold frost just on the um, like on the bottom center of your lip or on the cupid's bow. I've got one more face product. This is Nude by Nature Virgin Blush. And I fell in love with this when I got it in my last haul. I showed you guys this already, um, but this has definitely become one of my favorites. Although the packaging, you know, on loose loose powder products is always a little bit tricky to work with. So I don't know. Hopefully they'll change the packaging maybe down the road so it's more like I don't know, like bare essentials. You know, kind of change theirs where it has like a little locking mechanism. Uh, so when you go to put it away, you can like close the little um, the little sifting holes there before you put the lid on, whereas this one doesn't have that. So that's the only bummer about it, but I am in love with the color. Like, I think I tried to explain it in my last, in my haul video, I was trying to explain the color, and I think I said like, it's like a soft peachy pink with like tiny gold flecks, but it's really more of a, a dusty sort of color. It's like, kind of reminds me of a slightly peachy tone cargo tonga. Um, if, you, if you've ever had cargo tonga, it's, it's like a really natural kind of soft blush. And it's really hard to overdo that kind of blush. Um, so that's one reason that I really like it is I'm, I'm trying to tap this if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm trying to like kind of break up the, the color so when I go to tip it, it doesn't like all jump out on you. Uh, or on my camera. Either way, we don't want that happening. Anyway, it is, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to see the color very well. My camera isn't focusing either. Ugh, I got to get a new camera, by the way. It's really been, um, it's had its toll taken whatever I'm trying to say. It's it's had a toll taken uh, traveling with me because I'm really rough on it. Um, so yeah. Anyway, beautiful, kind of like a dusty desert rose, like the super softest, like dustiest desert rose kind of color you can think of. And just with that hint of like peach tone to it. So it's really pretty and natural. So loving that. And I'm sure that will be a favorite for a very long time. Favorite mascara of the month is Lancome Hypnostrama, and I've been loving this pretty much all summer long. I had two 
yeah, I, I started with two of these little um, deluxe size samples, and I've just been using them all summer, you know, while traveling. And it actually turns out that it's like becoming one of my favorite mascaras. It's it's really really good. Um, it stays on. It doesn't. It's not like hard to come off. You know, hard to get off at the end of the day, but it like stays on and like you know keeps your lashes looking pretty perfect all day long. Um, so I've really been enjoying this and I didn't expect to. I was just trying to use it up and so I didn't expect to like fall in love with it or anything but yeah it's it's really good mascara. Um, I don't know if you have seen their brush before but it's got like a little bit of like um, like a wave sort of shape to it um, but the bristles they're not like the plasticky kind they're like the soft kind of natural bristles and it really keeps your lashes like you barely have to work to get your lashes looking lush and full and long so that's what, kind of what has made me love it is that it's just like you know two coats instead of like you know four coats of mascara i do my i, I gotta do my little motion when i'm talking about putting ma mascara on i don't know why um anyway yeah so just putting on like two coats of this does the job and it makes your lashes look just lush and full and long and everything you want them to be all right, favorite breakout treatment is my tea tree oil. You guys know I like to keep it simple with my skincare now these days. So all I do is take my tea tree oil, dab it on a Q-tip, and take that Q-tip, dab it directly onto the breakout, that's all. I wouldn't use this because this is 100% pure. I wouldn't like put it all over my face or anything like that. Um, it's just for small treatment areas. So just as a spot treatment, I will apply that and it takes away the redness, makes it start drying up and going away right away. And um, it doesn't like, leave like the skin around the breakout like it doesn't start making that flake and get all dried out and stuff how um benzoyl peroxide tends to affect me like that so that's why i like my tea tree oil instead so that is definitely a favorite okay i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go because i feel like i've already talked your ear off like enough already so um yes i'm gonna let you go on the note of feel free to share any of your october favorites in the comments below um, I would love to at least hear like one or two of your favorites because I think it's always fun to see what you guys are into also. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!